over and over it shoveled the liquid towards itself, and in the first year, it did its job in an emphatic fashion. The machine of course was brand new and well oiled, so the movements of the arm reflected that. When people walked near it, the arm danced. When it was left alone, the arm cleaned, and it did this in a smooth fashion with no resilience whatsoever. In the second year, the machine continued to clean and dance, although it slowed down a little bit. Recurring visitors were probably pretty used to the machine at this point and didn't stay around for as long, meaning there was less dancing and more cleaning. But the result was the same. The liquid stayed in the same spot it was always in. By the third and final year, the robot was a shell of its former self. Its movements were tired and forced, and its environment was a complete mess. Covered in the red liquid that it could not contain, the robot had failed the tasks it had been given, without ever knowing that it was impossible from the start to complete them. In the end, the robot couldn't help itself.